hi guys welcome to my channel PC tips pro uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to cover today how you can use a go to assist expert uh, console for free for the lifetime yes you can do it uh, you do not need to pay any money and you can use this uh, software for the life just watch the complete video and I guarantee you that you will learn how to use this software for free for the lifetime so as you can see I'm showing an example here that uh, my go to access uh, software is expired and you can see that uh, your plan is not supported whenever your uh, software will expire it will come up with uh, this screen so uh, once you get this type of uh, in in this situation what you know what you need to do the next uh, just close the software and uh, at the right bottom corner you can see uh, the up icon it's a uh, now you can see the go to assist customer uh, the go to assist expert software is still running so make a right click on that software and click on sign out make sure guys it should be make a right click and uh, sign out so now you can see sign out option is not highlighting that means I have signed out uh, for the account which uh, previously I was using uh, to use the uh, go to access expert software so now what you have to do next uh, you can pull up any browser let me pull up uh, Google Chrome browser okay uh, I'm sorry okay it's let me open the Google Chrome browser and after opening up the Google Chrome browser uh, make sure what you need to do is go to a website yopmail.com it's yopmail.com let me explain you what this is uh, about so yopmail is a kind of email where you can create n number of uh, emails without uh, doing the registration part or without putting any password without providing your contact information or anything you can see here type the email name of your choice so you can just uh, put any name uh, here and click on check box and you will have inbox ready so now what I'm going to do here now I'm going to use this temporary email uh, for the registration to the go to assist because major challenge comes in order to use the go to assist is the registration part so if you can register a go to assist for n number of time you can use uh, go to assist software for the lifetime so now what I'm going to do here uh, I'm going to use the same email to register to the go to assist so next step is to go to the go to assist page here you can see I'm opening up the go to assist page it's get dot go to assist dot com now you can see that uh, unravel unraveled uh, world-class remote software start a remote software session in 15 seconds flat and you can see his try it free for only seven days so yeah as you guys know that is available uh, for try period for only seven days so after every seven days uh, this uh, activation will be expired and you will have to repeat the same thing again so let's go to the uh, let's click on this try it for uh, seven days and you can put any name like let's me put here XYZ and uh, again XYZ I'm just giving an example here make sure the next time like uh, if you're using your name so whatever the request you will send to the customer to have the remote access it will show the same name here so make sure use the right name I'm just giving an example here so you can see I'm using the same email and uh, I am creating a secure password here and I'm going to use any random phone and I'm going to use even the company name randomly which is XYZ and click on start my free trial you can see it will ask you're almost done and you it, it's asking you uh, for the code to activate the trial so go to go back to the email and uh, refresh the email you will get the code from the go to assist in the email copy that code from here and paste it to activate your free trial so now uh, I have just done that process and you can see it's a re I mean it's activating the free trial and this free trial will be active for the next seven days 
so I can use this uh, I mean the account uh, activated account for the next seven days uh, to provide the remote support to my um, the customers or to the individuals so here the registration part is done now what you need to do is go back to the go to assist software go to assist expert software open that up and now you can see it will ask you to type your email and the password of the go to assist account so I'm going to use the same email here this email which I just registered on go to assist a website to have the technician console and I'm going to type the same password which I used to register and I'm going to click on sign in once you click on sign in it will send another verification code to the same email so you can just refresh the same email and you can see I have got the new code here so let me copy this new code from here and paste in this area and click on continue so at the moment of time I will click on continue my go to assist okay it's saying here that invalid email or the password uh, let me see where I have done the mistake hmm okay no problem let's try one more time no okay I think there was some error now it's giving me option here to accept the license so let me click on accept and it's creating the support session here now sometime you, you get this type of error which I just got here right in front of you so now you can see my go to assist expert software is ready to use and I can provide the remote support or I can use this software uh, for to take the remote access of the computer easily so every time whenever your software will expire just repeat the same process and I guarantee you guys that you will never have to buy this go to assist expert software and you can use it for free for the lifetime because personally if I talk about I'm using this go to assist software from the last almost three years without paying even a single penny so I